This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about managing and tracking your inventory with QuickBooks, segment one, an introduction to setting up an item. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so that you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Hi, okay, we're going to talk about an introduction to setting up your inventory in QuickBooks. Done a lot of stuff on inventory over the last few years, and it seems to be popular because it seems to be an area that gives people trouble. So I thought it would be wise on several levels, actually, to do a series on inventory and also to hold a live webinar on the topic, which I am planning on holding this coming March, March 2012, and we're looking at a target date on this, and I'm just glancing over here at my other screen so I can look at my calendar. March 23rd, Friday, March 23rd from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. is when we're going to plan on doing a three-hour live workshop slash webinar on managing and tracking your inventory in QuickBooks. This will be an amazing opportunity to get your questions answered directly from me at a fraction of what it would cost to hire me directly to work with you one-on-one -on -one remotely, which is not to say that that option is not available too. But this is just less expensive. So, how do we begin to set up inventory? Well, when we're talking about inventory, we're talking about the products we sell, right? So, in order to set that up, in QuickBooks, our product list, the list of things that we sell, is also called our item list. And we're going to find that here in the lists menu under item list. Or as you can see, I've created a, an icon in the icon bar. That brings up this list right away. This is our item list. This is where our products are going. There are several different types of items that we may want to set up. And the first thing you'll want to do to make sure you can set them up, all of them that is, is go into your edit menu and go to your preferences and then go over here to items and inventory and then to the company preferences make sure that inventory and purchase orders are active this is not turned on by default so you do have to go in here and turn this feature on and then check some of the other options see what you think you might prefer we'll come back to this and look at this in a little more detail in a future video so make sure that everything is that the inventory the items in inventory are or inventory and purchase orders are active then once you change that setting QuickBooks will prompt you and say that it has to close all the windows in order to change that preference so go ahead and allow it to do that and then you can come back to your item list and now when you go to create a new item which you can do once you're in your item list down here at the bottom left where it says item or as with any list click edit and you'll have a choice to create a new version of that thing whatever list you're in in this case it's a new item because we're in the item list so then QuickBooks is going to let us know that there is an add edit multiple list entries feature which enables you to add lots of items very quickly we'll also look at that in a future video but the main thing here is if we're selling something that we want to track the quantities for we're going to be selling an inventory part this option would not have been available had I not changed that preference so we want to create inventory parts and when we create an inventory part we have to give it a name we have to assign it a cost of goods sold account and we have to assign it an income account. And I'll get into more detail in terms of what that all means in the next segment, the next video that I do on this. But the first thing we want to do is create our items. So what are we selling for a, a living? What products do we sell? For everybody it's going to be different. So I'm just going to use a generic, very common, famous generic thing called a widget. Actually let's be more interesting. Let's call it a what you call it. And then I have to assign the cost of goods sold account comes in by default as cost of goods sold. And then I have to assign the income account. For now, we'll just assign it to sales. And then in the next video that I do on this, I'll go into a little bit more detail about what this is all about, how this works, and what it looks like. But that's all it takes to add an item, of in, uh, to add an inventory item into your item list. We don't have anything on hand yet. We don't have anything ready to sell. All we've done is created the infrastructure so that we can sell this thing when the time comes. So the next thing we're going to take a look at in the next video is going to be on 
uh, some of the aspects of setting up the item. What's going on when I sell the item? What's the cost of goods sold account? What's the income account? How does this all come into the picture? How does this all play in? And we'll also, of course, show you how to receive an item in the inventory now that we've got one set up on the books. I hope you found this helpful. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you on the web. This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about managing and tracking your inventory with QuickBooks, segment one, an introduction to setting up an item. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so that you can review it as often as you like afterwards.